Coach, uh, let's just start with Shipley. Uh, he's a sixth-year senior for you. What did you say to him after the performance he gave in that game? Risha, I asked him if he could uh, apply for a seventh year. <laughs> I thought that's what we really need out of him. He is playing at such a high standard. He, he did it last year uh, when he finally got healthy because he's, he's had a real hard road, and he's a great story for all of those young guys out there that are struggling right now with an injury or a setback and, and might think they would never play again. But he is a, a young man that was kind of in the shadows a little bit last year of Quan Cosby, who's now with the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, but he's come out this year and uh, he's playing as well as anybody in the country. Now, what coach wouldn't want a talent such as that for a seventh year or forever, <laughs> for that uh, matter? No, that, that's what, and I'm not sure the NCAA will work with us on it, but we're applying. <laughs> uh, probably not. Uh, he is normally a short yardage guy for you. Uh, got a couple of deep ones yesterday, though. How is he able to help you stretch out the field? Well, number one, he, he, he runs sub 4-4 uh, four, four, probably. He's a lot faster than people give him credit for because he, he does, he's not the 6'4 guy. He's, he's not the guy that uh, talks a lot. He, he catches the ball, he gets up, he hands it to an official, even if it's a touchdown, and, and shows very little emotion with it, Risha. But he's a, he's a guy that just makes plays. So he's got great hands. He's tough. He's one of the best punt returners in the history of college football at the same time. Uh, but he doesn't drop the ball, and he has the ability to run routes and, and get open. So as much as he can catch the short ball, then he can make the double move and get deep like he did for the 88-yard catch on Saturday. Uh, let's talk about Colt McCoy, the guy who he gets the ball from, just three yards shy of breaking the Texas record for most yards in a single game. What was uh, his reaction to not being able to achieve being so close to getting that record? What was his reaction to not being able to get there? Well, it was funny because the record was held by our running back coach, Major Applewhite. He was standing on the field. So I think at one time, Colt thought Major might be asking the Conference USA officials to throw some flags so <laughs> Central Florida could stay on the field. But he, uh, he said, Coach, you, you do whatever's best for the team. I'm, I'm okay. I'm about winning. I'm about Baylor next week. And Garrett Gilbert, our backup quarterback, needed to play. So he was great about it. He, In fact, he, he did have the record for the most yards in regular season. Major broke the record in the Holiday Bowl against mm -hmm. Washington. But uh, I think Colt's broken about 44 of our records, and uh, he is two wins away from being the wingest quarterback in the history of college football uh, at 42, if, if we can play well here for the next couple of weeks. And then he's, uh, he's obviously a, a candidate for all the, the major quarterback and football honors across the country. So he's, he's got plenty of records and, and honors still out there for him. Uh, Coach, uh, you handle your business versus uh, Central Florida, but still swap positions with Alabama in the BCS. You are back to number three. What are your thoughts on that? Risha, we think that uh, two of the three teams, if they continue to handle their business, will, will be where they need to be at the end of the season. And those two play each other that are above us. So we felt like as long as we're in the top three, we're fine. And we just need to keep playing and worry about our business and not worry about the computers. And we went through all of that last year, and 0.128 kept us out of the game. So we're going to keep playing, keep our, our mind on our goal, and keep our vision on our goal, and, and not worry about things that we can't control. It is a topic that we continue to discuss with you and the Longhorns. You guys are always in the thick of that. <laughs> I think so. I, I think that's part of our culture now is the BCS. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure, but uh, I do know that uh, we've got some older leaders on this team that went through all that last year and head-to-head and -head with Oklahoma and the tiebreaker in the Big 12. And right. What we're trying to do, Reese, is stay above that and just play well and and make sure everybody believes we're the best team in the country. I think we dropped in the polls when we beat Oklahoma this year. So that's just the, that's just the uh, kind of the life that we're living right now in college football. Well, Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us here today on First Take. Best of luck to you and your Longhorns as you move forward. Thanks, Risha. Thanks for having me on.